All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing the build on our Duramax. So we got a lot of work done last time. We got the doors hung, getting ready for paint. Then we got other pieces that we want to paint. So let me show you guys really quick. So this is the grill, and we kind of want to paint it. We don't want to leave it all black. I mean, the roof is nice, glossy black, so we want to paint all this textured, uh, glossy black so it kind of matches, and then this middle part is going to be red. But unfortunately, it's all texture, so we actually have to put some primer on it to make it nice and smooth. And also, this is from our burnt one, so we got a little bit of damage here, and we're gonna try to fix that. If we can, then we'll, you know, we'll save like $300. But if we won't, we'll just buy a new one. But there's other, other couple pieces that we wanna paint to match, so it matches the whole truck. We have this part that goes inside the, the hood. And uh, we don't want to just leave it like that. So we're gonna probably primer this too and get it painted to make it match, make it look good. So I'm black with that though, or? Yeah. The black, yeah. Same color as the roof. We're going to same color as the roof, yeah. And then we have the mirrors. So we finally found a mirror. They're really expensive, you know? But um, pretty much, I don't want black mirrors. So we're gonna paint, I guess this part red, but this is all kind of like textured and not smooth. So we have to put some primer on this to make it nice and smooth and uh, it's gonna have a way better look to it like the rest of the body so a lot of prep work to do like we did in the body but let's get straight to work So there we go, after a lot of sanding, and this thing actually comes apart, because we need to paint, and we're gonna paint it different colors, but let's primer it, and we get primer underneath it. So we took the grill apart, we got that pulled out, we heated it, and we had a little bit of the plastic resin stuff, and it's looking good. Then we're gonna primer this thing, and we'll probably have to put a really thick coat to fill in all of that, and the mirrors. So let's get straight to it. First thing we're gonna do is actually put plastic adhesion because we want the paint to stick or the primer to stick really well to it. So put that down, maybe two coats of that and then ready for primer. Let's get to it. Okay, so just like that, we got it all primered up and it turned out really nice. So I'm really happy with this and the mirrors also. So the next thing to do is probably let this sit overnight and then we could probably sand it 
and uh, make sure all the scratches are out and everything's looking good, nice and smooth, and all the texture's gone. But let's go ahead and work on the bumpers. So there we have it. We got the bumper sanded down. We actually had a couple little dings, so we got those fixed. And we had to put a special sealer or epoxy primer on this thing because this used to be a chrome bumper, so we scratched it up really well. We de dated it. And then uh, this primer epoxy will stick to it really good and uh, go from there. So that's the next thing we wanna work on is the tailgate and the bed. So let's get straight to it. All right, so here we have the tailgate. And we did have a little dent right here. I can fix it really quick before, I guess. But let's block that, make sure that's all good. Also, we're gonna take off all the lettering, take all the plastic off, make sure there's no other damage on it. So I'm getting ready for paint. A lot of little tedious work, but let's get straight to it. All right, so just like that, we got the primer sanded down and we definitely need to reprimer that, but it's blocked away and it's looking really good. Also, we got the letters off, so that's really good. And I don't see any more damages on the tailgate, but we got it all stripped down, ready for paint. So we're gonna primer this when we primer the other little parts, but pretty much I got a phone call back about the hood. So let's go pick up the hood, because it also needs a little bit of work and we'll get back to the shop. All right, so after a quick drive there and back, here's the hood. So it's got a little bit of damage right here, but it's nothing that we can't fix. But the rest of the hood looks really good and we got a really good deal on it. So let's knock out this bodywork, and uh, we can prime it with the tailgate. So let's get straight to it. All right, just like that. So with the Maxi, we definitely got it pulled out. That machine is really nice. So next we're gonna put a little bit of fiberglass resin in there because this hood you know, opens, closes. We don't want nothing to crack off, nothing like that. So let's get the little bit of resin in there and then we're ready for the body filler.
So there we go. It turned out really nice. I'm really happy with this. And be ready for some primer. And then also while we've been waiting for it to dry, I've been sanding down these pieces. They've dried from the last time we primered them. But we still got the mirrors to sand down and a couple other pieces. And then we can primer everything together and hopefully we'll be done with it. So let's get straight to work. All right, so just like that, we're back in the paint booth and ready to primer. So the bumper, it's uh, cured, feels good. We scuffed it, it looks good. We sanded down all the primered pieces that we painted this morning and it's looking really good. So second coat should make it nice and easy. Also, we repaired the hood and the tailgate. This time we're gonna spring, or we're gonna mix up the primer and it's gonna be a little bit thinner. We're gonna put a little bit of reducer so it's gonna be nice and smooth. And uh, let's just get straight to it and put some primer down. All right, so just like that, we got about two to three coats of primer and it lay down nice and smooth, so sanding should be a lot easier. Unfortunately, it's getting pretty late and uh, we did a lot of work today. So pretty much I'll catch you guys in the morning and then we're hopefully gonna paint something. Either we're gonna paint underneath the hood because we still gotta put this hood on and we could definitely paint underneath it. And I think also some suspension came in so we can paint that. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, so it's the next day and we got straight to work. We started sanding everything down. So pretty much we sanded inside the hood because we actually had to put this hood on the cap so we could paint the whole thing. So we're gonna jam out the hood, it's gonna be looking good. And since we're jamming out, the other parts for the our lift kit came in from Rough Country, and uh, it's pretty much the cross members and a little I guess shield bar for the front diff. And I always like them painted, you know, I always like them to see a little bit of color. Black just doesn't stand out. So since we're jamming out, we're gonna paint this and we'll see how it turns out. 
I think it's going to turn out great. Leave a comment down below, you guys, if you think it's a good idea, a bad idea, because it's probably going to get scratched, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, we want to highlight the lift a little bit, because I mean, they make such a great product, and uh, I'm excited to put it on, but before we put it on, might as well paint it, you know, make it look good. We're concerned about power coating, but the color is going to be too off. And uh, if it doesn't look good, we can always paint it black, so it's not a big deal. But let's get straight to it. Let's put some sealer down, some base, some pearl, and get this thing knocked out looking good. Alright guys, so just like that, we got it painted. It's looking really good. We're gonna let it dry. Um, I'm really liking the color, guys. What do you guys think? It's, it's, it's not black anymore, and, uh, and you know, it's gonna highlight the truck. I mean, it's gonna be lifted, so might as well do a little bit of customization. Uh, big shout out to Rough Country for jumping on board this build. I can't wait to put it on and see how the truck's gonna look lifted up. Also, we got wheels coming in, so I'm pretty excited about that. But unfortunately, that's all the time we got today, guys, to do all this work that we did, but I'll catch you guys next time.